Hey everybody, welcome back. Today we're going to start get started on the debugging section. Uh, we want to use the JavaScript console to check the value of a variable. Both Chrome and Firefox have excellent JavaScript consoles, also known as dev tools, for debugging your JavaScript. You can find developer tools in your Chrome's menu or, or web console in Firefox's menu. If you're using a different browser on a mobile phone, we strongly recommend switching to desktop uh, uh, Firefox or Chrome. The console.log method, which prints the output of what's within its parentheses of the console, will likely be the most helpful debugging tool. Placing it at strategic points in your t code can allow you to intermediate, uh, add, can show you the intermediate values of variables. That just means what's, where, what the variables are at certain points in your code. It's good to practice to have an idea of what output should be, uh, what what the output should be before looking at what it is. Having checkpoints to see the status of your calculations throughout your code will help narrow down where the problem is. Here's an example to print hello world. And if you've been watching my videos, you will know that I use this all the time, just to kind of give us a better idea for how this works. So we want to use the console log method to print the value of variable A where noted in the code. So we want to say here, so we're going to go console.log, and they want us to find the value of, of A. So at this point, A is 6. And then at this point, when we go A plus B, we have 7. So at first, A starts off with 5. B is 1. We add 1 to A, A plus plus. So it's 5 plus 1. Here, A is 6. And then here, we say the sum of A and B is A plus B, which is 6. And it comes out to B. Oh, but A has been altered at this point. If we go console.log a, and then you can add a little string in here too. You can be like a before incrementation. You can see that this is a before incrementation is this 5. Here we see that the a is 5 at this point, and then we console log it here. So after a has been incremented, and we console log a, this is um, uh, a after incrementation and then so now we see but it's become six and so at this point it's six plus a so six plus a which a is now six and then uh, six plus b and b is one we get the sum of that so it's six plus one if we were, another thing that we could do is console log uh, b and then just have this one say b before sum mation right so then so what we're doing is at first we're saying this is a and then we're saying this is a after it's been incremented and then so we're going to add this one and this one together to get the sum of b and so that's how that works anyways looks like uh oh your code should use console log to check the value of a um so yeah my tests have caused this to break so i'm going to just get rid of all this this and this and we should be able to run the tests and they should pass Awesome. Hope you guys enjoyed this one. We'll see you in the next lesson.